Like, I wish I knew this instead of spinning. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this is probably the biggest mistake I've ever made in my life, but you know what? It's, it's, it is what it is. Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Diablo Immortal video. Today I want to talk to you guys about gem resonance and awakening gems or awakening gear or whatever it's called. Most of you guys probably know what it is already, especially the whales out there who have all ranked 10 5 star gems and 7,000 resonance and shit like that too. But this is more for the you know for the new players who are learning. Uh, also actually there's a lot of people on my server, also in my clan who are you know high paragon levels, uh, like a thousand resonance who have never awakened a gem, has no idea how it works. Even me myself, a guy who knows everything about this game, actually just learned something new the other day about um, awakened gems and it's actually something I really wish I knew earlier because otherwise I would not have awakened three different pieces of gear. Uh, I did that because I was really high one day and uh, one of my buddies is like, yo, yeah, awaken the, the helmet because it gives cooldown for the skill and I did it and it was the wrong one. So I decided to awaken another piece, which is my pants. And that was the wrong one too and I awakened another one, my weapon of iron lathe, which is the one I really wanted. And you know what guys, you know, you know how to do that? You need to get something called a dawning echo, which costs a thousand orbs. This awakening material is used to awaken the power of legendary gems. It is a one-time use for one piece of gear that has a rank 10 gem inside. So, a thousand orbs, how much is that in fucking dollar value? I don't even know, fuck, holy shit. A thousand orbs, oh fuck, a thousand orbs, uh, let's say about 20 bucks Canadian, so that's like $2 USD, so it's not, it's not too bad, it's not too bad, you know. This is probably the most money I've actually spent. <laughs> on the game uh, it's awakening my gems because I fucked up so hard so let's get right down to the video to awaken a gem or awaken a piece of gear I keep saying gem fuck it uh, you, you know what I mean to awaken something you need a rank 10 legendary gem of any star it doesn't matter if it's a one star gem a two star gem or a five star gem as long as it's rank 10 you will unlock a feature to awaken a gear uh, obviously a one star gem is the most realistic one because it's very easy to rank up you don't need like <clears throat> fucking a ton of like a bajillion copies of five star gems to rank up you only need i think five copies of a uh, one star gem after rank five and some gem power and total gem power is like maybe 200 so it's it's realistic it's possible for you to get a rank 10 gem as a free to play player completely free not even paying for the battle pass not even paying for the boon of plenty nothing you, you can spend zero cents not, not even a single dollar and you'll get you you yourself can actually make it to level 10 believe in yourself because i did it before i started spending money. This this is one of the reasons I actually started spending money in the games because I <laughs> fucking paid for Awakened Gems and I was like, you know what? I already paid money. I might as well pay a bit more money. So uh, I'll show you guys how it works. You guys ever wonder what this beautiful purple border is around someone's gear? That means that piece of gear is Awakened. And you know what that means? That means we spent money because we're fucking whales and we can afford it because we're rich. No, I'm just kidding. If I was rich, this entire fucking set piece would be like 7k residents all five star gems i just want a sweater here it's fucking freezing jesus christ canada is so cold like i'm, I'm literally sh like, it's like i'm living in an igloo or something here <laughs> to awaken a, uh, a piece of gear obviously you need a rank 10 gem you can choose to socket whichever piece of gear you want to awaken and that depends on you and depends on the kind of build you want to do each essence provides different benefits but different bonuses for example this one i awaken my helmet my command golem duration increased by 30 percent and a bonus is command golem cooldown decreased by 10 percent from the awakened resonance now for example if i were to remove this gem the bonus will not be applied because you have to have a rank 10 gem in there no matter what how many stars for it to actually activate even though the gear is awakened so if i put let's say a uh, four star gem here it will not show the bonus even though it is awakened you have to have a rank 10 gem you also have to be very careful and not to make the same mistake i did uh, and just awaken a piece of gear just because you're excited you need to do the research and see which essence you want to have a bonus that depends on your build so for example my, i have a summon build right now which is perfect it's very easy standard summon build my chest piece for example i did not awaken this i have ray form removes effects and I'll show you the potential bonus that it will give you if you were to awaken it which will provide a 10 percent cooldown my shield mages now have a chance to be empowered this one actually gives mages life increased by 10 percent that's not that good you know like I, I wouldn't want to awaken an offhand for extra life for a mage even though they die in two seconds anyways uh, this one here for example a shoulder piece of the mage again 10% life, you know, like, do you really want that? You gotta, you gotta, you know, go through each piece of gear and see 
if you really want that. The reason I awakened my helmet is because the com command golem duration increases by 30% plus a 10% uh, cooldown is actually really good. So by the time your golem dies, your cooldown's already up. And you know, necromancers out there, your golem dies pretty fucking fast if you did not have uh, followers burden to increase the duration of it. So there's actually, you know, there's a good substitute for it. So once you have a rank 10 gem, socketed it into a unawakened gear, for example, I'll show you right here. I'm not gonna awaken a gear right now because I'm, I'm too poor to afford it. So let's say I wanna awaken my shoulder piece here. Put a berserker's eye here. And you can tell that even though a rank 10 gem's in there, it is not purple because we did not pay for <laughs> the awakened uh, dawn. So what you have to do is visit this dude right here, my boy Vic, master jeweler, gem residence. So let's say I want to awaken the shoulder piece. Now I can because I have a rank 10 gem in there. All I need is to awaken dawn and awaken it. And then your border will become purple. And now your gem is awakened. And after that happens, there's another cool feature here. So I'll show you right here. Let me take out my little berserker's eye. Unfortunately, I only have one rank 10 gem. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a whale. I wish I had like six five star gems for rank 10. If only. If you can spare some chain, spare some orbs. Once you awaken it, not only does it give you the benefit, there's something called gem resonance right here on the bottom. So <laughs> this is actually even pretty cool, um, but I don't think it's really worth it because inside a one star gem, you actually need to put two more one star gems. For so this one, it's a everlasting torment and a mocking laughter. And now <laughs> you gotta <laughs> you gotta be very careful here because per level, it only gives you one resonance. And it does not give you the gem benefit from the Everlasting Torment or the Mocking Lefter. All it does is going to give you a total of 20 extra resonance inside this gem. Once you reach 10 resonance, your primary attack damage is increased by 3%. Once you reach 20 resonance, your skill damage is increased by 2%. So that means you have to rank 2 more 1 star gems to rank 10 just for the gem resonance. Now, is that really worth it? I don't think so. Like, it's such... You know, small numbers. I rather, I rather rank up another rank 10 gem and awaken another piece of gear. That way, you get the resonance, you get the combat rating, and you get the bonuses from it, and the bonuses from the gem. You can, you can rank to like, you know, uh, level up of level five everlasting torment and a level five mocking laughter. That's fine too. That works. So that way, you can get the first one, the primary damage. Not bad. So each gem, one star gems. I know for sure they all just need a two one star gems to provide the extra resonance. For, for the you guys out there who are who are interested in awakening gems, this is pretty cool. Um, it's one of the cheapest ways to you know get stronger without spending a ton of money on crests. And even getting to rank 10 f uh, for a one star gem is really not that bad. And the resonance it gives you is 150, 44, you get magic fine. And honestly, the one star gems are actually way better than two star gems in my opinion. The only reason I have all these five star gems right now at rank four is solely for combat rating and resonance. Getting to rank five, I'll show you right here. Getting to rank five for a five star gem, it is absolutely fucking crazy. Oh yeah, by the way, I found a five star frozen heart <laughs> from a free crest founded. Oh my God, I was so upset. I do not like this gem at all, but I had to use it because 400 resonance, a nice combat rating. Yeah, I need to do that. So to rank to a rank five, you need two copies of a rank three and one copy of a rank one. That's five copies total. So you need five copies of the Frozen Heart to rank to rank three and 250 gem power. So yeah, free to play players, I'm sorry. That's uh, that's probably not gonna happen. For me, I got very lucky with gems. As you can tell, I've got five star gems. I found uh, Bloodsoaked Jade from my free crest run two. Bought a hope I bought from the market with free platinum. I would not suggest, you know, leveling uh, five star gems if you're not gonna be paying for the game or if you're not gonna be grinding. This is this is unrealistic to my in my opinion. But it is pretty cool to have like, you know, if you could do it, like if you get lucky, find a five star gem in a rift and might as well rank it up a little bit. It's still gonna be more resonance and combat rating for you to help you out for uh, higher difficulties and rifts and, and raids. So yeah, make sure you guys do your research and um, check what the benefits are for the essence that you want. Otherwise, you're gonna make the same mistake as me and awaken three different pieces. All right, so remember when I said I learned something new, even though I know everything about this game? About maybe a month after <laughs> I paid for three of these freaking, what do they call it again? Dawning Echoes? I keep calling them the Waking Dawns. I found out you can actually get it back for free <laughs> by simply visiting the blacksmith and salvaging a piece of gear that you have awakened. 
So I'll show you here. If you were to go salvage, for example, the helmet that was awakened here, I'm not actually gonna do it, but check this out. It will actually give you all the materials back, including everything, like all the money you spent, all the scrap you spent, all the dust you spent, all the glowing shards you spent, and the dawning echo by simply destroying the gear. Like, I wish I knew this instead of spending... <laughs> oh my god, uh, this is probably the biggest mistake I've ever made in my life, but you know what, it is it's it is what it is. So there you go guys, you have a safety net. In case you do make a mistake, you have a safety net. You can rep uh, salvage the piece of gear and you get all the materials back. I don't know if it's the full refund, I don't, I don't think... I, I feel like I spent more than 1 million gold uh, leveling to level 20, but who knows, I'm, uh, I was rich, so uh, 20 only shards, whatever. But yeah, that's the cool part, so you don't have to spend uh, more orbs to buy another Dawning Echo, then you can just awaken another piece of gear. And I also forgot to mention too, you actually don't need multiple rank 10 gems to awaken every single gear. All you need is one rank 10 uh, gem and just socket each piece of gear. Use the echo, awaken it, use this, uh, the gem to another another piece of gear, awaken it, and rinse and repeat. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave some comments down in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys next time for another video. Peace.